Okay guys, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about where you are and where you want to go. I mean, where you are right now and where you want to go. I hear a lot about people who who say, well, how can I get all the money that I need? Or how do I find that person to love? And how do I uh, do the job that I've dreamed of? Okay. And I get the impression from everybody that they feel like if they could just get one of these things to work, then their lives would be perfect. And I'm here to tell you it won't. <laughs> it just won't. You came into a place where you are right this second, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, is exactly what you intended. You are exactly where and when and how you intended yourself to be because there's no such thing as time it's an illusion that there is time to begin with so where you are is exactly where you were meant to be and when you reach for that money or that job or that person or that that whatever it is fill in the blank whenever you fill in the blank with whatever it is you'll have another blank and then you'll have another blank and you'll have another blank and the reason why that is so is because you have separated yourself in this game to be apart, away from, outside of, or what appears to be separate from the all that is. It is your natural state to be a part of the all that is. In this game, you have put yourself in a place with amnesia to appear to be outside of the all that is. In your natural state, you are one with all that is. And I know I realize that, that is very hard to comprehend right now. So I'm just going to say it and hopefully you'll let it kind of boil inside of your mind a little bit. See if you can wrap your head around it. But because you have set yourself for what peer, appears to be separate from all that is, you are outside of your normal state. And you will always be searching for that normal state. That normal state of being a part of all that is. And being aware of it and remember it. And interacting with it and amongst it and in it. That is what you normally do outside of this game. And inside this game where that's taken away from you. And whatever the degree that is. You're always going to be trying to fill in the blank to get that back. You just don't know what that is. And because you don't know what that is, you've taken belief systems on the society that's around you and you've filled in that blank with what's supposed to be in the, that makes you feel better, that makes you feel whole and complete, okay? So whatever it is you don't have, you're going to, that's going to be your blank because that's what you believe, that's what you've been told, okay? But the problem is that as soon as you fill in that blank, there's another blank. And as soon as you fill in that blank, there's another blank. And as soon as you fill in that blank, there's another blank. Okay? The only way to have no blanks anymore is to understand what I've just said to you. That you're not a part of the, of the, of the all that is. You, you've never been away from it. You've never been disconnected from it. It's just the illusion of being away from it. And all of that that you're missing, all of that that you need, can be brought back into making you feel whole again when you go inside. It's not anything on the outside. None of that stuff on the outside will work, guys. None of it. It might make you feel a little bit better for a while, but I guarantee you the next blank will pop out up. Because until you have what you're missing, which is being a part of all that is, there will always be a blank. There will be a blankness, there'll be an emptiness, there'll be an incompleteness of you that you won't understand. So you'll look for it and you'll come up with the answer and the answer is this or it's that or it's, even if it's this, then you need to tweak it. Oh, okay, well, um, money is what I need. So you win the lottery and you know the story about lottery winners, they lose all the money real quickly because guess what, it wasn't the money. Uh, you get the love of your life and guess what, it, that's not it. So then you start tweaking the love of your life and then you don't have that one anymore and you go, well, that didn't fill it in. So they must not be the love of my life. Try again. You throw that one out and you get another one. Well, if I'm successful at business, well, you're never successful enough at business, right? 
never successful enough. There needs to be even more and more. Those are the blanks that you are trying to fill in that will never be fill inable. It'll never be. That's part of the game. So if you understand that, then the the opposite is true. The opposite is true. You don't look outside of yourself to fill in the blank whenever more blanks are just going to keep coming. What you do is find that wholeness, that oneness. You fill in the blanks from within exactly the way you are right this moment. If you're broke, if you're alone, if you're whatever the case is, no matter what it is, you become whole and complete and happy within who you are right this second. Now, now you're beginning to get the picture. Now you're getting, beginning to get the picture. And true enlightenment is that, is to understand that you don't need anything out there. You never did. You are a God. You have everything within. You're connected with everything. Exactly what you wanted to experience, you're experiencing. So experience it, guys. Experience it. Wherever you are, experience it. Sit back, relax, and experience it. If you do it from the standpoint that you're not less than, you haven't done anything wrong, there's nothing better to do, but that in this moment, your job, so to speak, is to experience where you are in this moment. What can you see? You know, I, there are advantages and disadvantages to all the perspectives. You know, somebody who's really, really rich in a penthouse in New York City on, I don't know, Central Park, whatever, whatever your good address is there. Uh, there are advantages to that, but there are disadvantages to that as well. There's a lot of pressure with that type of life and existence. Um, it, it's hard to get there. It's hard to stay there. Uh, there's a lot of rules there on what you've got to do and how you've got to act, how you've got to dress, how you've got to be in order to be in that world. That's a lot of stress. It's a lot of stress. And money sounds good, but you've got bills to pay and you've got taxes to pay. And, and do you invest it? Where do you put it? Um, how, do you, how do you make it work for you and keep going? How do you keep people from taking it away from you? All of that is stress. Now you move over to, I don't know, some small village in South Africa. Uh, there are disadvantages and advantages to that perspective as well. Uh, that, that sense of being a part of something where you know your neighbors, where everybody's working together for the good of the all. Um, but the disadvantage is you may not have enough food this year because there was a drought. The, the trick here is to not look at these different perspectives like, okay, that perspective is better than where I am right now. It's not better than where you are right now. None of them are better than where you are right now. None of them. I don't care what they tell you. None of them are better than where you are right now. And the day that you can figure out that where you are right this moment is the coolest place to be, that no one has the perspective and is experiencing what you are experiencing right now. No one. There's no rich person that can buy what you're experiencing right now. So if you will experience it to the fullest, no matter what that is, no matter how it plays out, then you will begin to be happier and happier. And not so much... <clears throat> I know they use the word grateful a lot, and I do want you to be grateful, but grateful almost feels like... Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I have this. And I don't like that vibration. I like that feeling. What I want you to see is every role in this game, every actor in this, in this movie, is as important as the next. They're all unique. They're all cool. And there are, there are entities on the other side, outside of this game, that would trade places with any of you. Any of you. They don't look at it that I want to come and play the game and be uh, President Trump. They don't do that. That's not what they do. That's not what they do. As a matter of fact, the ones on the other side are more likely to find the least godlike role that they can play. That's the role that they want to jump into. They want to jump into something that's very extreme. That's the one that they're lining up to do. Okay? 
So you're here, you're now, star seed where you're working for Gaia, human that you're just playing the game, doesn't matter. What matters is that y'all understand that in this place, in this moment, in this time, is unique. Whether you're feeling bad or whether you're feeling good, it is a unique perspective that only you can do. And the more you can kind of lean into that and understand that, the more at ease you will be. And the more easier it you, the more at ease you are, the happier you will be, the more blissful you will be. Not to go out and change the world by solving a world's issue or getting the most money, or having the best children. It's not about that. It never has been. That has never worked, and it never will. You guys know that. Even people that are, you know, that I know lots of people have lots of money, and what are they doing? They're working to get more money. Uh, and then people watch them and go, how much is enough money? Well, that's because they're filling in that blank, and they say, oh, okay, money. I don't know how much, but if I fill it in with money, then I'll feel better but there's never enough money because there's, that's not the wrong, I mean, it's the wrong thing to put in that space. Same thing is true with love. I know serial people that get married or have relationships, one right after the other, same thing is true. You're filling in the blanks with the wrong thing. That's what you're, you're looking for love in all the wrong places from the country western song. All right, hopefully that will make sense to you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for a thumbs up. Thank you for your comments. Appreciate you guys being here more than you can know. I really, 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 really love you listening and talking back and forth to me, okay? All right, guys. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.